I want to be able to mount this ring light on this little portable camera for taking close-ups of videos and snapshots, what have you. And there's a couple of things. It would be nice, for example, if this had a, a, a filter ring. It does not. It has no screw filter. Plus the fact, as you can see, the lens retracts. So even if it had a filter screw, it would not work. And so I'm trying to figure out how to attach this on here. One of the rules is I have to avoid covering this sensor. And right now my ideas involve something like this PVC ring, some silicone, uh, something like that, uh, some kind of a bracket down here held on by the uh, tripod screw. So that's where I am right now. Uh, let me go work on this a bit. I'm thinking about uh, using this metal bracket to hold the, tu the tube in place, which will have the light ring mounted on it. And the thinking is to slice this down here, saw it down here, bend this out so I have a tab sticking forward like this. And the forward sticking tab will hold the ring on. And I'm going to drill a hole right about here for the screw hole. So here's what I've got right now. I sawed off this piece to make it as long as the camera. I sawed off this piece of the bracket up here so it's gone. Now what I need to do is saw. I need to keep a tab right in the middle, maybe about as wide as my finger, and so I can mount, so I can mount the bottom of this to the tab. So I'm going to bend it out mount this to the tab and got to do something along here not quite sure what it is I think I'm going to keep a piece down in here cut it this way so that it follows the curve of the lens and help hold it in position and this side I'll probably just cut off because I have this tab right here to help hold things and yeah that's the plan so about a I don't know three quarter inch tab or something like that right down the middle sticking forward so I can screw it to the bottom of this because you can see there's a gap in the bottom down there and I want that tab to go right through that slot right in here and then I can run some screws up in there and life will be good so that's the plan right now so now what I've done is I've cut out part in here and round I shouldn't have cut down this far over here if it was for beauty I'd redo it but I should have not cut this line down so far and then the next step is I'm going to bend this tab forward uh, and that's what I'll mount the the blue pipe to and so far so good and then I've got to drill this hole down here I got this thing all cut like this and Got this tab sticking out towards us. Hard to see like that, but yes, got the tab sticking out towards us. And there's the blue ring. And that's that's that. Uh, looks okay. Might need a few millimeters this direction or that direction. I don't have that mounted yet. It's just sitting on there. There is how it looks right now with the lens through it and with the uh, screw down in it and still debating on how to attach it down here where my little finger is I'm thinking about one screw and filling that with epoxy uh, not sold on that idea yet but two small very small screws something like that and here we are I've got these two bolts in here I was going to fill that gap down there with epoxy I'm not really sure that would help. It would make me feel better, but I'm not sure it would do any good. It's on there stronger than, uh, stronger than, I can bend the bracket if I pull on it, so it's on there pretty tough. It's not wiggling. Why don't I cut the screws off? Future expansion project. And here it is with a ring epoxied in place. Uh, Got to hook up the wire. Got to put a plug on there. And first test. I could not wait for the 
<laughs> there we go. Cranking up the voltage. Uh, 11 volts getting there. And there's full brightness. I'm the camera on so you can see how the lens works. The lens pops out through there. The lens sticks out just beyond the, the light so you don't get any flare on the lens. I've got the 12 volt plug on it, soldered on the end. You can run it either on the uh, 12 volt battery pack like this, or a 12 volt supply like this one. And got everything put in place. The uh, glue is dry and painted it flat black, obviously. So there it is off the camera. It doesn't weigh very much. Uh, there it is, but uh, yeah, turned out rather nice. Well, I hope you found it interesting and perhaps useful and maybe you'll make your own.